Um, so first off, I just want to say to you guys that I loved the movie so much. Like you guys were both oh, great. Okay. And obviously it's out today. And so like, it's getting a lot of rave reviews. Like everything I've seen has been positive about it. Like everybody loves both of your performances. And I think like, I think you guys both did an incredible job bringing the characters to life. Thanks. That's really nice. Yeah, <laughs> we were just, we were just texting um, about, it seems like people on Instagram are being really nice about it and really like it. Yeah, I loved it. I'm going to watch it again. Okay, oh. so I'm going to get into my questions. Okay, so the first one I have for both of you is, knowing that this film was based on a popular book series, did you have any anxiety about bringing the characters to life on screen? Mm. Mm -hmm. I think we both, I don't want to speak for you, but we both had Emma, who is the author of the book, and she was very, very present on set and off set, like via email and text and all that good stuff. So I think we both felt... I felt really safe kind of going in and, and doing my thing as Kate and feeling like I was given the most information um, possible to portray her. Definitely, definitely. I second that. However, I certainly had some imposter syndrome. I, I, I read the book and they're like, yeah, this guy's 6'3 and super <laughs> jacked and all these things. I'm like, oh, cool. All right. Um, <laughs> I'll do what I can. Um, but no, I mean, I, I second what Catherine said. We had great advice. Um, Emma was awesome. Tracy was awesome. Yeah. So uh, overall, no, I think, you know, we were both just excited. You know, what's funny about that, about what you were saying about the description of Drew in the book, it's crazy because like everybody, we all like when we're, when we, as readers, we all have our different, you know, visions of who we see. So some people were probably like, I didn't see somebody like that. I saw somebody like Josh. So I mean, yes. you're like, I, I thought you fit the role perfectly. Thank Aww. you very much. That's music to my ear. I feel like the readers are also most of the time harder on the guy. Like, I feel like the readers are like, if someone's That's not right for the role, they're like, it's the guy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Okay, yeah. so that leads me to my next question for you, Josh. When I read Tangled, I liked Drew, but the way you portrayed him actually made me love him. So what was important for you to make him more of a level person? Because he can come off like, you know, kind of like a jerk. So like, what was your, what was important to you about making him seem more lovable? For sure. 100% uh, vulnerability, I think, for me. Um, comedy and vulnerability. Catherine's probably tired of hearing me say this now, but <laughs> everybody's mm -hmm. got, you know, like you said, you have your own your own idea and character of sort of how you envision that character. Um, and if if Drew says certain things that are, uh, <laughs> let's just call them offensive, then <laughs> he would be really yeah. easy to hate. He would be really easy to hate, you know? Yeah. So um, for me, it was about just finding the the exact opposite of that and channeling as much of that as I could and trusting that the dialogue would still be funny and still yeah. be getting through. So I just tried to tap into as much sort of vulnerability and um, non-arrogance as I could. Yeah. <laughs> and just trusted that the rest of it would uh, flow. Yeah. And Catherine, for you, you did such a great job bringing Kate to life on screen. So what drew you to that role and what was one of your favorite things about playing her? Um, I think one of my favorite, I mean, to playing that role in general, I, I've always wanted to do a rom-com. Like I grew up watching rom-coms and I feel like in my teen, late teen years, they were kind of falling off. Like rom-coms weren't really being made in the same capacity anymore. So when I got the script, I was like, yo, this is like a classic, you know, will they, won't they rom-com. Like it was just, it was so cool. And I was so excited to do it. And um, I love Kate uh because I I love that she is an imperfect woman like I love that she um you know is is so hardworking and and doing her job but then like falling for this guy who is is not um fully fully formed as a as a man maybe <laughs> like he's still like they're both young and they're both trying to figure mm -hmm. themselves out and like they're almost doing it together when they yeah. when they find each other and um I think I think a lot of women are going to be able to relate to being with someone for a really long time, growing out of that relationship and finding someone who is probably more suited for the person you've, you've then become. Um, and I thought that was a really relatable storyline. Um, and I, yeah, it was, it was awesome. And working with Josh was great. <laughs> <laughs> and my next question is, Kate and Drew have a lot of fights at work. And one of my favorites, which was my favorite when I read the book too, was the whole, my name is Kate scene. Like, it's not sweetheart. Like that was one of my favorite yes. parts. Was it fun for you guys to shoot those scenes? Cause they're like very, very fast paced. Cause you have to be like back and yeah. forth. Very. Oh, that's probably my favorite. One of my favorite parts of the film. How about you, Catherine? 
Yeah, I mean, we spent so much time in that office space because a lot of the movie exists there. And um, it was always so fun knowing that it was just me and Josh in a scene and it was just full back and forth, like sassy, you know, banter. Uh, it was really fun. It was great. Which one was your favorite to shoot? Like which one of your office fights was your favorite? I, so many good ones <laughs> i know i know i i always go to the band i just i think the band is hilarious when the band follows her in and she's like she like storms into the door and she's like yeah, yeah, yeah. we wonderful. could not when we were shooting that the first couple times when i like burst into the room and and then the band would come behind me i, I would just i i can't see them and i was the only one but i would know everyone around me was just cracking up and i couldn't deal i just would laugh every time the band was so funny. They were. Yeah, they were. Okay. Um, the two of you have such great chemistry, like from those moments when Lavi, obviously Kate and Drew are fighting to being lovey-dovey in the montages. Like one of my favorites is like, like that one, like right before that record scratch moment when the ex comes in. Oh, <laughs> nothing, yeah. nothing felt forced between the two of you. So like scenes like that can tend to come off cheesy if they're not done right. Did you guys spend a lot of time rehearsing those so that you could develop that chemistry? Because you have to find that balance between those two things. I think, I think we just, uh, the, I'm so happy everyone is telling us we have great chemistry because like we know we have great chemistry <laughs> at, on a personal level as friends, you know, and, and I'm so happy that that translated on screen because we just had like, we just had such a great time together and we, you know, really got to know each other. And I, I think we, we spent a lot of time together in a really short period of time, which tends to happen on projects. And um, it just makes you be able to be on screen and, and connect in like, a, in a really wonderful, like complex way together, which is awesome. What about totally you, Josh? Agree. Yeah, totally <laughs> agree. Yeah, no, I mean, it's all, you know, you can't fake authenticity. And I think when you actually care for somebody, like we, like she said, we're, we're really, really good friends. And I just think that makes it easier. It's like, you can rehearse all day long, but you're still right. sort of forcing something if you don't know that person. Right. Um, if you're not looking somebody in the eyes and having a legitimate conversation with them, then it's, it's yeah. just going to be forced. It's going to be um, indicated and predetermined. And as you said, it's going to be, it can be forced and cheesy. Yeah. Um, so we just, I think, I think in a way, um being forced to spend time with each other on set is better than rehearsing yeah. it, it, and it i think for that. and trust is huge for these kinds of movies mm -hmm. like especially you know Definitely. like in, the intimacy stuff and then you know spending so much time together and just yeah. i think trust is for actors like a huge thing and if you don't have trust between two actors like you probably won't get good chemistry yeah, i agree <laughs> Her. All right, Josh, I loved all of the moments when Drew would break the fourth wall to talk to the audience. Were those like, were those done in a continuous shot? Like the one, like, like first, you know, like the one with the office sequence when he's walking through the office, like basically before he meets Kate, like, is that one long continuous shot or were they all like broken up? Good question. Yeah. Um, both, both. A lot of them were broken up and they would just put the camera for one little line here, one little line there. That one, though, that you're talking about, we had a steady cam that day and he was so cool. tracking. Yeah, he was really, really good. Um, I mean, he followed the whole time. And uh, I mean, it was a, it was one shot. No, it was a complete, complete winner. And uh, so he was super talented. But I would say, in short, it was a mix of both. Um, sometimes it would just be one. Like when he looks up and, you know, he's like pouring the tea, that was literally just an insert of one shot. Uh, and then there's a couple where he walks walking through the bar to meet Kate. That's obviously one. So just a nice mixture. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then my other question for you, Catherine, is did you find yourself like breaking at any moment like during those scenes like when he like the one when he's talking about what fine the, the word fine actually means because you just are literally right. standing there and he's like turning I love us, that scene I love, I love scenes where um you know so so many scenes are what is not said you know it, it like what is under the word fine and what's fun about this is that he literally turns to the audience is like and, and lets them know what he's thinking <laughs> which is such a is such a amazing part about the book is that I think a lot of women, I, I haven't read a ton of romance novels, but I think so many women are excited about this book being adapted because uh, so many romance novels don't come from the male point of view. Mm -hmm. And so it's been, I think, really fun for women to watch this movie from Drew's point of view instead of from Kate's point of view, which is, which is fun. Yeah, those are actually some of my favorites because I like being in the guy's head because it's always interesting to know what are they thinking in this exact moment? <laughs> right. I agree. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, so with movies like The Hating Game and now Tangled, why do you guys think that the enemies to lovers trope is so intriguing? Like, what do you think makes it so intriguing for people? Hmm, that's a good question. I think there's a, a multitude of things. Catherine, you want to go first? You want me to? Why don't, why? Uh, I don't know. I've never, to be <laughs> honest, I've never hated someone and then fallen in love with them. So I can't speak to that. Um, I think Josh did such a good job at um, Drew's arc because when I first read the book and when I first read the scripts, um, when I started reading it, I hadn't gone through the whole thing. I was like, I would never talk to a guy who talked to me like this. <laughs> and I never. And I just remember talking to Tracy, um, our director, and we just talked a lot about like, it's really important to get a guy on this project who has vulnerability and has like kind of this like youthful amazing energy charisma situation so that even though those lines are said in like a yeah way like they're said they're said with like love in in a way as well um uh, it's just such mean. a yeah it's such a fine line with with that kind of humor and um I think Josh did such a good job at making it lovable and making it like palpable <laughs> yeah Thank I you agree very I, I don't know if I answered the question but no <laughs> I know you did. Fall, I've never fallen in love with someone I hated um I don't know why people like it but I'm I'm, I'm glad they do <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know he's like tangled <laughs> right right yeah. right right what about uh, you Josh um, I mean, I, I second that, but I have not hated somebody before, but I do think it's, I think there might be a simple equation, which is maybe just, you can't have, you know, not being able to right. have what you want or whatever right. the thing is, um, because it's like, you're kind of just faking that hate and maybe it's sort of the off limits boundary kind of thing. So I think that's kind of what's learning about it is, you know, you want what you can't have and you pretend to hate somebody, but you never actually hate them. And everybody knows that. I mean, Matthew's character even Yeah, that's that. what I was going to talk about. Like, yeah. right, the conversation yeah. Drew has with Matthew where he's like, you tortured this girl for, like, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He totally calls him out on his on his BS. He's like, you know? but I loved her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. I think that's what it is, for sure. Yeah. And Catherine, you have such a lovely voice. I wasn't oh. expecting, like, the, I was so surprised, like, by the song. So, like, is that an original song that you wrote specifically for the movie? No, so that song is in the the lyrics are in the book, and oh, that's right. You no, know, like Emma wrote them, and um, so I think Passion Flicks. Uh, I worked with they they hired a composer that they had uh, worked with before. I went to a studio, and he had like written a song using those <laughs> lyrics, and it's beautiful. And I recorded it. And luckily it was in my register and it worked out and it's a really lovely song. My best friends sing it at me all the time randomly. <laughs> it's been such a long time. It's, it's been a while since I read the book. So yeah, I totally forgot that. But yeah, it worked out really, really well because your voice sounded amazing. Thank you. You're yeah, it was really fun. That's one of my favorite one of my favorite scenes is the scene where we um, are like really connecting for the first time prior to the karaoke. And um, that was a really fun night. That was a that was a fun day on set. That was, that was. Yeah. So. Okay. And given the fact that Tangled is part of a series, do you guys hope to return to these characters to do the next one? Like, is there, is there any talk about trying to do another one? Isn't the next one I think is Matthew and Dee Dee. Cause, well, there's another one. There's like a, there's Twisted. There's an, like, there's another version where Kate and Drew are kind of like, they're, they're kind of on the outs a little bit. So that's why, that's why I'm like, I, I don't know if they're looking to do something else with that one. Because there, mm. there is another one. I have it on my shelf behind me, but I can't pull it off right now. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's another one. But I think, but, but that one is from Kate's perspective. Like Kate's telling that story. So that's why I was wondering if they're, if they're playing, if they would plan to do that again. Because I mean, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind seeing you guys on screen again. Oh, well, thank you. I don't know. I I know that the there's one the girl the uh, sailor who plays Dee Dee is unbelievable and uh, yeah, hers is Cameron who plays three. Oh, okay, and then the second one is like tumultuous again between us. Uh, with, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with us, man? Oh, just can't it'd get be fun. Better. It'd be fun. That's okay. Good. So Valentine's Day, as you know, is a few days away. So I have to ask, what's your go-to, a rom-com or a romantic drama? I think you basically answered already because you were talking about the lack of rom-coms that you see on screen. Yeah. No, for sure, a rom-com for 100%. Like, 
Valentine's Day is for for good good feels. I don't want to watch um, what's the what's the Oscar Isaac? I want to watch uh scenes from a marriage always, but not on Valentine's <laughs> Day. That's the Oscar Isaac Jessica Chastain one. Uh, yeah, seems heavy. Yeah, it is very. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What about you, Josh? You said the notebook. Like, is oh, that? Oh, I was. Uh, well, or were you, or were I was just... saying that she probably doesn't want to watch the notebook. Okay. Uh, I don't want to cry on Valentine's Day. Crying, right, right. I mean, I'm, I'm all of the above. I love it all. I, I'll, I'll, I'll do a nice romantic comedy, and then I'll cry right afterwards, and then I'll <laughs> cheer it all up with a, a glass of whiskey or something, you know. <laughs> and then <laughs> what, what one word would you use to describe Tangled? I'll ask you first, Catherine. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I want to come up with a good one. Um, s- sassy. That's not a good word. Sassy is one of my favorites. Yeah, that's a good it's word. Like, I think. Yeah. It's it's because fun seems too boring, but it really is. It's it's so it's just fun, and I'm using so many words now. But it's it's a, a good word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree with her, and maybe lighthearted. I would add, like fun, lighthearted, sassy. Yeah, those are good. Those are sassy. Awesome it's just fun to say. Yeah, yeah, would, I would say them. that too. Yeah, we're gonna well, combine them all for Fassy. Fassy is our answer. Fassy, it's fassy. A fassy. So we're gonna. So that's gonna be the new word, Fassy. The fassy movie. Fun, fun and sassy. Okay, yeah. that's that. That'll, I think that'll work. Well, with that, I thank you guys so much for your time. This was a fun interview, and I Yay. hope that everybody continues to enjoy Tangled. And I wish you guys luck in your future projects. Nice talking thank to you. you. Both. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Bye. Ditto. Nice to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much.